Hello everybody, um, today we are going to be playing Omori. Mm. So, apologies for today because I am pretty sick. Um, let's see, oh it immediately full screens, alright that's great. This game contains depictions of depression, suicide. Okay, well that's very welcoming. This is very welcoming. I know nothing about this game. Um, I know that this guy right here, well, he's gray. He is, he is gray. And I also know that apparently something bad happens at some point. Here, I'm gonna turn this. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. Z, confirm. Um... Yeah, I, I like got on and changed the settings a little bit. How do I change that volume? I oh, don't know. I'm going to just have it at that. Hopefully, that is good. But yeah, I just know at some point something bad happens. So that that is fun. So let's get into it. Like I said, know nothing about the game. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Okay, he's crying. No matter what happens. Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. Alright, I think it's about time to open up my water and take a... Nice big s swig of this. And prepare myself for what's probably going to be emotional. Welcome to White Space. Oh. Hey, White Space. Can I move here? No. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Alright. That's a light bulb there. Meow. Waiting for something to happen. Is that all that happens? Okay. Tissue box. A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Thank you for that. Excuse me. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside? Sure. All right. Well, <laughs> it, it it sure doesn't wait long, does it? Oh, yep, yep, definitely not. Okay, I I, I sense cult activities here. There's probably something in here telling me something. That's my cat. Apparently being segregated from other cats. I'm, I'm noticing a lot of blood here. Well, it looks like blood. Um, I, I don't know what I'm looking at here. This looks like an angel. Like a biblically accurate angel or something. Yeah, this is... This is deeply upsetting. This is... That, that looks like a cannibalistic cake. That's a slide. 
some stuff in there. It's a lot. There's a five. Oh, I, I think that's supposed to be hopscotch without a four. Um. Aw, oh, looks like he was sick and his cat was assisting him with that. Something. A bunch of light bulbs. And whatever that is. I'm scared. You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Stare at the screen. You stared at the screen. What would you like to do? Open your journal. Okay, today I spent time in white space. Everything was okay. Okay, it, it, I don't think this person has... Yeah, they don't have a good concept of time. Or maybe they just don't even... Man, this is actually sad. I'm like already upset. I didn't expect to be upset so fast. Um... Yeah, it's the same. Um, today I visited my friends. Everything was okay. Dang. What would you like to do? Log off. This... The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Alright, something fell nearby. Nope, get away from me, whatever that is. Oh, this is a knife here. You got a shiny knife. I don't like I don't like that. I, I saw the depression warning. I, I don't like that. Please uh Okay, I can't do anything with the light bulb. Can I leave? That door looks creepy as shit. Okay. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. What do, if I just do nothing? You stared at the door. I love staring at doors. I'm gonna meow. 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 Reminds me of my cat. All right. Let's uh. Open the door. Yeah. I didn't like those red hands. They touched me, and I did not like that. Oh, this is all colorful and nice. Aw, look at them. They're just happy to be alive, it seems. Aubrey. Hi, Omori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh, whoops, never mind. Oh man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning too. Hey there, Kel. There's no need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that hero. You only say that because you were. You only say that because you were losing. Eh. Alright. I wanna immediately see this. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. Alright. You got stuffed toy. I'll be there in a minute, Aubrey. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. From the Family Guy episode.
can do absolutely nothing with the flowers. A cat, a cat-shaped hole. Waiting for something to happen. A baseball and a baseball bat. Egg. <laughs> a single bean on a plate. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. A photo of someone familiar. A stuffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. Wait, th did it change? No, it didn't. I just I just clicked on it again. Would you like to make toast? Yeah. You made toast. Oh, I can't even eat it. A neatly wrapped present. A blender. So, it appears we're in a kitchen. Okay here why is Kel always so mean to me you know the other day that good-for-nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room why would he do something like that he's so immature I mean what did I ever do to him oh I know can you find my stuffed toy for me Omori pretty please okay it was really hard to find it is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Kel! Look, it's my stuffed toy! He jumped. What the heck? Where did you get that? Amori found it! Lucky for me, I've got some real friends! Serves you right, Kel. You should know better than to pick on others. But Aubrey started it. She was the one who was making fun of me for the mole and mole on my on your what? Aubrey. Fine. What do I Thank you, Omori. I knew I could count on you. You're the best. Man. Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hey, Omori. I'm glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. Did you want to go see them? Sure. All right, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Basil. Oh, they just follow me. Um, where's this go? Where are you going, Omori? Let's go see Mari and Basil. We can't let their picnic go to waste. Oh, all right. Hold on. Can I like take the cards? No, not yet. Not yet. We'll, we'll, I don't know if I can come back here. Going out, Omori? Here is your allowance for today. Okay, a snake just gave me... Oh, clams. You got 50 clams. Guess we'll go. This came out of a tree stump. Ah, oh, yeah. Fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Well, let's go. I'm gonna give him like a spunky voice. Hey, wait a sec. Help me up, guys. I'm stuck. Only if you say please. Kel, stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Hmm. Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. Alright, we're immediately... I don't know where we go. Um, probably here. 
This, yeah, that's the playground. Knew it was hopscotch, because right there, that is, that is hopscotch. So that's probably what they were referring to. And golly gee willikers. This game is bright. Mari! Basil! I'm hoping I'm saying that right. It's probably Mary or something. Oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Kel's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. How could he? I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just getting all whiny. Being. Well, Kel, you just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. Believe me! No, believe me! <sighs> Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Chin up, hero. Look at you, being all responsible. Some green-haired girl doesn't say anything. I'm assuming girl. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Not now. Oh, hero. You know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through the going through his photo album. Did you want to join us? Of course. After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this. Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Alright, man, now I gotta think of a... Sorry, Kel. I only take pe pictures of people when they least expect it. You like to take pic photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera. Right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. There are, mo there are the moments I want to capture. So like, oh wait, so like, we just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could put it that way. <gasps> sure, I can do that. Mm. Did you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Oh wait, Basil's a guy. <laughs> I just realized Basil's a guy. <laughs> okay. Um. So new voice. Man, I don't even care. I'm just gonna use my normal voice for guys and a girly voice for girls. Ah. Okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Here. This way we can all see. Alright. Omori and Aubrey. Um. Them. I'm trying to, like, memorize their names, and I'm sucking at it. I think this guy is Hero. Aubrey. Uh, how do I differentiate him? No clue. Um, me and Basil. Oh, okay. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. Bro, look at this. It's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Bro, feet pics, <laughs> relatable. Bro, this this man, he said, nah, I, I'll keep my shoes on. Oh, wait, I can read it? Kel drinking a bottle of milk, his favorite. I shouldn't get too close, or he might tr might take my... Oh wait, what? Or he might get my camera wet. I'm being stupid over here. Read. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Amori and Kel are holding Mari's example. Okay. So pretty. Okay, so there's girls... Girl with side thingies and girl with no side thingies. I think that's their differentiating factor or whatever. Omori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Nice. Hero is still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire her, his persistence. Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Alright, I already read this. Kel drinking a bottle of milk. Mari and Hiro t take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Hero leaning in for a smooch. Oh. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese! After eating, everyone fell asleep, except Hiro and Mari. Alright, so there's Mari and Hiro and... I, I wonder... I wonder if they're dating. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident. But I don't believe him. <laughs> All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? Huh. <laughs> I, I, I think that's Omori's. <laughs> okay, I love this game. I, I'm not even gonna lie. So, okay, leave there. These pictures are so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come, come hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure. That sounds like fun. Let's go. I want to keep his funky voice because I like it. It's south of the playground, right? Yep, that's the way. I give up on giving them the same voice because I prefer to give them different voices. This guy's plain voice, this guy's funky voice, and this guy's calm voice now. And the girls get the same voice because I'm too annoyed. Not, not annoyed, I'm too lazy. Hmm... I think I'll sit this one out. 
You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling wary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save... You can even save using my picnic basket. Aw, thanks Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye Mari! We'll see you again soon! Run along and have fun now! You know where to find me. Okay, I'll give the... the... the girl behind me a more energetic voice and she'll get a more calm voice. That's the most I'm doing really though. Some nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? Absolutely. You and your friends feel like new. <laughs> okay. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Save. Overwrite this file? No. Alright. This is... Right there, that is a... That is a chair. Ah. They always have eggs for me to step on, though. This is the best part of the game. I'm going to swing to the moon! Guarantee he won't. Hey, Omori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Okay. Burly talks so fast when she's excited, it gets really hard to keep up. Okay. Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Bro, Nose is a vibe. I'm, I'm chilling with Nose. Very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. This kid's getting it figured out, though. Hey, wait just a second. Where do you think y'all are... Where do y'all think you're going? I was gonna go talk to this guy. You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You want to play hide and seek again? But, but, you know how this turned out last time. Y yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think we're gonna have to pass. We're going to ba we're going to Basil's house now. So. We'll catch up with you later. Not so fast! You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? <laughs> what At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I ba banned him from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that moron is up to now. Eh, good riddance. So, you want to play hide and seek, Basil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? I wanted to talk to this motherfucker. Amori! Amori! My best friend! Come on, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? That's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Ten hut! Who the fuck is it? Yeah, I wanted to walk around and get to know all these people first. Because this person looks like an eldritch horror. I'm trying to know all these people. <coughs> Alright, maggots. Here's the rules. We're going to be and we're going to be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Here in my hands I got some straws, see? Everyone here's got to pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is going to be it and we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? Guarantee you I get the shortest straw.
We all got our straws? Good. Now, let's see who's going to be it. Well, well, well. Looks like the one with the shortest draw is... Omori! Oh wait, Omori is it? But Omori doesn't like being alone. Are you gonna be okay, Omori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey! I hear you plotting over there! The straws make the rules, not me! Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad. Omori will be fine! When you're ready to play, walk up to the tetherball pool and close your eyes. And no peeking, or else. I'm about to just leave. <laughs> okay, I don't think they really liked that. How do I, how do I get over there? Oh, let me guess, I go right in between them. All right. Three, two, one. Go! Omori! Psst! Omori! I'm right here! Omori! <laughs> okay. I think they're gonna force me to do it. Whoa! You found me! Now I can help you find everyone! Just don't tell Burly about this, got it? By help me, I think he means he's just gonna follow me. A very difficult puzzle, okay. Nose goes! Shh! If you're loud, you, if you're loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes! Bun goes! Shh! Be quiet, Nose! We're hiding, remember? Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. But this was still fun. As long as Burly is happy, I'm happy. Alright, let's see. Nose. Aha! We found you, bun and nose! Nose, they found us! Nose goes? Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. Alright, they're just all gonna be chilling up there. Okay. Um, this person. Darn, you found me. I guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. Alright. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna be distracted real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. I'm awesome. Wait, is that a person in that? Boing, it's me, Happy! You found me, so that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know! I'm gonna count the alphabet at backwards, cause that Z, Y, X, W, V... <laughs> Z, Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, um, O... <laughs> okay, yup. This game is beautiful. What's what's this? A yo-yo. Okay. Eternal banana. Charlene. Uh. <laughs> okay, Charlene. Um. Browse. <gasps> Michael. Huh? Where am I? Sigh. I was dreaming that I was on a private beach with servants fanning me with palm tree leaves on every side. When suddenly, wham! And now here I am. I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's game over for me. Okay, these, these right here, building blocks. Boom. <coughs> <coughs> 
what are these two people doing? Sean and Ren. <sighs> we're not playing. We're we're exercising. Oh, okay. I see. Aw, oh, you found me! Darn. Hehe. <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, Omori. Hi, Omori. I see everyone decided to stay a bit to play hide-and-seek. If you're having a hard time, I can lend you a hand. Big Sister is always here for you. So, would you like some help? No. I'm playing with these cars. A bunch of small toy cars. Alright. Okay, there is like... That's just a hamster. Okay, where did um my other friends go? You probably shouldn't disturb this. You probably shouldn't disturb okay. They hadn't been on like trees or something. Huh. Man, I have no idea. Alright, um, Mari, give me your wisdom. Let's see. Yeah. From what I see, there's still three friends left to find. You can do this, Amori. I'm rooting for you. Where? Where are they? You can't leave yet, Amori. We haven't even won yet. I'm struggling so much on this, and I feel like I'm being stupid. Where, where? A, su a suspicious blue mailbox. Oh, this guy's working out with them now? Oh, hey guys! <sighs> you know, I found a really good hiding spot, but... <sighs> Sean and Ren... <sighs> invited me to join them in their... <sighs> exercise routine. It's fun. And good for you. You guys should really try this. It's really a workout. Oh man, I'm so tired. Wow. You really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, Hero. We gotta help my Mori find everyone else. Alright. Alright. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun. Yeah, let's do this again sometime. See you later, hero. Alright. Where are... Where are they? I stepped on an egg. Where are they, though? It's like... Is the girl, like, hiding behind this person or something? Okay, yeah, I get it. You're happy. There's a straw in the ground. Pull it out. Blah! Took you guys long enough. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. How do you how do you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? Looks like you pretty much found everyone else, too. Unexpected, but I like it. Let's do final roll call. Yeah, um, we're missing the green guy. Ten hut! Where's the green guy? Van? Here as always, buddy. Charlene? Here. Michael? 
Ow, what gives? Happy? Here, here. Browse? <gasps> Bangs? Here. Bun? Bun is here. Nose? Nose goes. Hero? Present. Kel? Yeah. You really gotta do this every time, Burly. Hey, that was uncalled for. Aubrey? Here I am! <laughs> huh, where's Basil? That's strange. I thought I saw him go hide near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil! You can come out now! You already won! Hello? Basil? Hey, there's Basil. Basil, are you okay? Are... You stuck? <laughs> Boss, I should have known it was you. You good-for-nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil is our friend! Don't you dare hurt him! Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. You stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to play hide and seek? I'm the only one who showed you all how to... Oh wait, I'm the one who showed you all how to play hide it and seek in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide it and seek without any body slamming? My flower crown. Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil. How could you? Let go of him, you bully! No. <laughs> that, that's all. No. <laughs> if I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss only zone now. And you're not invited! Ah, oh, I got lost in the music. What will Lemuri and friends do? Oh, I, I went to literally fucking run. Alright. Snack, toy, skill. Sad poem. Inflict sad on a friend or foe. Costs five. Guard. Acts first. Reducing damage taken for one turn. Hold on, let's attack do. Oh. We just beat the shit out of him. How about that? Alright, hold on. I see. So, fight. Um, skill. Sad poem. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna guard with him. What will Aubrey do? Pep talk. This guy needs to be happy. Use on whom? No, I didn't want to turn on sticky keys. No. What will Kel you? Kel do. Annoy. Makes a friend or foe angry. This guy doesn't need more anger.
What will Hero do? Skill, cook. This guy just fucking straight out attacks him. Omori guards. Kel guards. You can do it. Boss feels happy. Yeah, we're gonna use that on him again. That seems to be working. Hold on, did I make shell attack? Yeah, you pep talk him. That's what that guy needs. Guard and guard. I'll fucking beat the shit out of this man. Oh wait, I just- I- Oh god, I just fucking slashed him with a fucking knife. Oh god. That- that might not be the best thing to just do. <laughs> you weaklings. You called that an attack? Okay. Just attack him from all sides. D did he just- he just hit him with a fucking frying pan! <laughs> okay, the second he punched us was the second I decided, alright, well... Time for attacking. Hey, that kinda hurt. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. Hit right in the heart. Urgh. Now you've made me angry. Time for my special move. Body slam. Oh. Aubrey became toast. Why, why are we all becoming toast? Omori did not succumb. Huh? How are you still moving? Like it, it wants me to, and it's gonna make me do it. It's gonna make me do it, isn't it? It's gonna make me do it, isn't it? Oh my god! It, it literally makes me do it. <laughs> All right. Well, man, Amori's party was victorious. You gained 32 XP. You got 22 clams. This isn't fair. Rematch. I want a rematch. <laughs> Bird just kicked him. Basil, are you hurt? Uh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine. Boss, it must hurt to see people have fun without you. But that doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. <laughs> I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news! It's a good thing Omori held on during that final at attack, or else we would have all been toast. It's okay, I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? <laughs> That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear all- I don't need to hear these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. What? 
Well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna... Wait, this... <laughs> That's great. Anyways, back to getting... I like puzzles. <laughs> Alright, that's amazing. I want to give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If only I could have a... If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice me. So what, do I gotta find like a flower puzzle or something? Tonight's a perfect night for stargazing. The grass sure feels nice here. Wanna join us, Omori? Yes, absolutely. The stars shine brightly overhead. You don't have a care in the world. Oh, it's nighttime? Omori learned observe. Okay, who's this? <laughs> Hello, friends. Alright. Having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. <gasps> hop. And a hop. And a hop. And a hop. Alright then. Pretty sure that's actually, like, everyone. Yeah, that looks like it's about everyone here. I've done everything. I think they said it was south. Psst. Hey. Psst. You. Yeah, you over there. Um. Amori, I think that mailbox is talking to us. Maybe we should go check it out. Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please, buy something. <laughs> Candy. Apple juice. Jack. Hold on. I'll have you know I don't appreciate window shoppers. What? Alright. No, that's not... I, I, I'm trying to go and see what else you have. I, you can sell. Okay. Um. It's not what you wanted to inflict anger on a friend or foe. Deals small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. Apparently better than orange juice. I'll buy three of these. And actually, I'll go back, sell one of them because I don't have enough money. Man. And that was a waste of money now, so that sucks. But let's buy one apple juice. Absolutely. And one jack. Alright. Yay. Train station, Pinwheel Fortress, Basil's house. Watering can. These are sunflowers. 
They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be, like... Someone who always sees the bright side of things. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I could always count on her to help me stay positive. A watering can. Oh no. Whoa! What's that ugly plant creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they are lost. Mm. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stomping over all the flowers. Ah, it looks like this sprout mole is angry. Like us, sprout moles also feel emotions. Since this sprout mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying, so what you're saying is now is the perfect time to strike. Come on, Omori. Let's do this. do pep talk not that I even think that'll work seeing as how it's an animal but what will Kel do you're gonna attack it oh yeah both of you will attack it takes 10 damage you can do it that was creepy as hell Oh. Well, Omori, what will Omori and friends do? Oh, okay. Inflict sad. <laughs> I want to just see what it does. Um, skill. Pep talk, yeah. I'm just gonna use all of their things and see how this, like, what what's gonna happen if I do that. Oh, oh, that just heals people. I gotta look up, I, I just gotta look up one thing, and it's, do I need to like kill them to continue? Okay, this one says it's going to tell me how combat works. Battle system of Omori is primarily based on traditional turn-based... Okay. With additional unique states that can modify the flow of combat, such as emotions, in the friendly follow-ups. Alright, I'm just going to, like... I'm just gonna attack them, I guess. 
but this, this, they can't do anything, alright, um, then all of you, um, guard. Man, you, why do you have such low juice? You can't. Oh man. Well, this is upsetting. Here, you're gonna just. We'll, we'll just kill him. Honestly. Attacks the the lost mole sprout. Okay. We were victorious. Everyone's happy, and this guy is not amazing. Omori grew to level 2. Uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey Omori, now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Hero gave you the Faux Facts Journal. There, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Oh. A dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. <laughs> oh, Mori. Okay. Wait, do I have, like... Did I put the guy in here? Okay, wait. It, it'll tell me when I reach the bottom. Alright. Oh, yeah. That is here. Let's see. A little rough around the edges can be a foe or a friend. And I think that's everyone we fought. Toys, jacks. Small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. Alright, options. That's the settings, alright. Select two. Alright. And then I don't know what's gonna be there, but let's let's continue. Um let's see, what are what are these flowers? These are roses. Can you guess who they remind me of? They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meanings. Pink roses symbolize admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses, because he's versatile and he's universally loved. Alright. Ah. These are a type of flower called the gladi gladiolus. The gladio what? Gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest, with strong moral values, who stands by their convictions. A gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey, because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is that Aubrey is very stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Oh, another one of these guys. 
Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all of the flowers. I'm not even doing this again. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit to hit our weak spots and do more damage. But this also means it has a higher chance of missing. Can we just run if okay, no. I want to be able to spare this guy because he's like, he's cute, but I don't know how to do that stuff, so I'm going to like, observe this man, I'm going to, I could kill it, ah, they still have no anything, alright, never mind, we're just going to kill it, because I don't, I don't even know what, Amori's party was victorious, you gained 18 XP, you got four clams. Hmm. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist. But I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. You got an emotion chart. Do you want to look at the emotion chart now? Yes. Hmm. I see. Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask, because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? Hey! Well... That too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. Whoa, neat! Cacti are awesome! Okay. What is this? These are tulips. Yeah. Ah! These are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like Omori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Ah, uh, not another sprout, Mole. It's all good, Basil. It's all good, Basil. We got the hang of this by now. Okay, so... The sprout mole seems to be a bit sad. Alright, so if I if I remember right. Happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. Um if I'm right. See how it's curled up in the fetal position? <laughs> that means it won't do as much damage as normal <laughs> to fucking fetal position. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. What? Oh dear, I didn't like that. No, because like now I'm gonna try and see. This guy's the one who makes things angry. Okay. And you, you put up your guard. So if I, if I do the counteract thing. Um. 
So do I just gotta like, I'm gonna see if this is what I need to do. Do I just like... Do I gotta make him happy then? Ah, uh, wait, I gotta wait. Alright, then put your guard up. No, don't annoy. Guard. Um, you too, you guard. Drink the juice. Drink that juice. Yay. I'm, I'm trying to see how to avoid killing them. No, wait. Skill, pep talk. There. Skill, what will Kel do? Guard. And you? No, you will not attack, you will guard. Why do you immediately go for attack? Alright, let's see. You can do it. Sad poem. Bro, but like, honestly, not even gonna lie, this soundtrack is like, fire. Dang. I'm trying to make this guy sad. Oh, uh, I bumped into Aubrey. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm immediately going to attack. Man, like, I feel bad about killing him. He's cute. He's, like, adorable. Look at him. We're just over here hitting him with frying pans and stuff. So, I mean, anyone who watches this, I want to be told in the comments if there's, like, a way to, um, you know, avoid killing them, because I feel bad about killing things. <laughs> so, like, I, I'll kill things, of, uh, like, occasionally, but I don't want to just kill them every, t every time. Take a sip of water, and... Hi everyone! You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up. And I even brought some fruit. Uh, here. Ah yes, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Absolutely. Alright. I'm all happy now. And everyone's like just chilling here. Munch my Woohoo! Voice crack. Boom. Voice crack. Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Aw, Mari. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. Either way, you sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mari is so effortlessly graceful. Twirls. Don't you think so, Amori? Yes. Aw. I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. 
My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Okay, here, let me let me save real quick. Yes, I would love to save. Is this, okay, yeah, we're still in the prologue. Um, do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Absolutely. I love picnicking with these people. That is so fun. Like... I like how this game makes it very obvious, I mean, it, it outright says it from the get-go, that Omori is depressed. And I know it's gonna become like a very big thing at some point, oh god. It's gonna become a very big thing at some point. I'm kinda scared of that, cause I feel like that's just gonna end in like bad things is he angry then yeah we need to use the pep talk you will guard you will oh massage oh this guy can massage it all right let's see this Use his jacks. Ah, oh, he's happy now. Hero massages yield sprout. Oh god, we just all took damage. What will Omori and friends do? I'm trying to like, uh, man, like, how do I do that? How do I not kill this guy? Because I don't want to kill him. I really don't. What happened? Oh man, this fight is pretty tough, but don't worry. We can all do this if we work together. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Omori. We'll get him this time. Notice anything different, Omori? You should see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Huh? What? Did you see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just, pre just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Alright. So, let's see. Alright, I think I did it, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> Man, you guys really is- this guy really is tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Alright, I'm 
just gonna make him attack again. Oh wait, but we need energy to do other things. Oh no. Nice, we're full of energy. This is our the perfect time to use our special attack. Omori, after you attack, press down to release energy. I hope you're all ready. Come on everyone, let's show this big guy what we're made of. Omori smiled. Uh, that that was like whoa that guy just smiled I didn't... oh dear he just like got depression and then left oh got a lot of money and learn stab okay <laughs> I learned stab and there you have it heroes battle tutorial tutorial 101 and I'm sure that as we fight more battles our teamwork will improve over time wow you guys that was so amazing ah uh, that was nothing <laughs> I've taken down way bigger guys than that I should teach you some of my skills one of these days basil I know you're not the type that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. You know, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Amori to hold on to for now. You got self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and then. <laughs> Omori, you should know, when you when we gain XP and level up, sometimes we also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player's menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Kel. Alright, so. Is it in here? Important. Emotion chart. Self-help guide. Use. Does this tell me how to not kill people? Just a way to not <laughs> luck. All right. Well, I guess I gotta kill him no matter what. I'm so used to like Undertale controls where you can decide. Say cheese. Aw, oh, came out kind of blurry. Well, that's okay. It gives a character. Hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. I want to see it. Oh, oh, sure thing. 
We all look so cute! How's my hair? I wanna see! I wanna see! Oh hey, Omori. Did you wanna look at the photo too? Too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you st you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. I feel like this game is trying to calm me down and then like put a bunch of emotional shit at me. Like, I don't know anything about the game, but I know enough to know it's going to get fucked up and I'm going to be like very like uncomfortable. I I'd say. Um, woohoo! Another shot for the photo album. Move over, Aubrey. I can't see it. Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn. Get out of my way, Kel! W wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first. No, me! Stop it! You guys are knocking me over. Uh, whoops. Oh my gosh! Basil, I'm so sorry! Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why the both of you need to learn how to get along. Uh, I I'm sorry. We didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell Mari. It's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. It doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. Oh, this is so nice. I love this. Bunch of potted plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. Huh. That's cool. I'm not even gonna like look at everything in here. Basil's photo album. His most precious belonging. Alright, I'm gonna look around. A fireplace. The fire is warm. Can I turn off the lamp? Oh, I can't. A comfortable looking bed. Give me the option to sleep in that bed right now. Are you ready to put the... Ah. Are you ready to put back fo... Man, this is probably so bothersome if you're watching this video. But I suck at reading. Are you ready to put back the photos, Omori? Yay. Let's get started. It's so weird because I gave him... I, I'm using a calm voice for him. I feel like he would get higher pitched. Yay, let's get started. Yeah, probably like that. I'm just like trying to catch the drift of these characters. And I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Amori has a really good, has really a good memory. I'm just gonna read it, however. Amori has a really good memory. So I'm sure we'll figure this out in no time. This goes right there. Because, yeah. Then, W. W. Go elsewhere, please. Alright. Um, oh no, I think that one was after this one. Then 
And this one would go here since it's new. Newer. There. Good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise to never fight with Aubrey ever again, unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. That's strange. Photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems so familiar. N no, that can't be. Mari. What? Oh god, well... This, this, there, there's no door. I don't like this. Are the hands still here? I hear heart beating. Not much to do around here, is there? A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Yes. I feel like there's going to be a new thing. Oh, that's, oh, that's me and all my friends hanging out and now I'm now I can kind of like piece together some of this because like that's clearly the playground and that's like the guy's puzzle that's the random banana and that is new okay is there anything new here Open my journal. Okay. Alright. Here, let's leave that. Please stay away. I don't like them. I feel like there's something oh god okay yeah that's not fun I see this is like an infinite kind of world thing type deal I don't even know where I'm at <laughs> There's something I'm supposed to find in this area. And I'm just not really finding it. And where is it? What is the thing I'm looking for? Or is there? Are you looking for a way out? There always is one, but... Waiting for something to happen? Okay, I'm just going to say it right now, I don't like what I'm looking at, because this is kind of implying that something happened to Mari, and I don't like that, I don't like that one bit, something happened to that girl. What do I do? Do I interact with more stuff here? Is there more in the sketchbook now? No, doesn't look like it. Do I need to get caught by one of these guys? No, I've already gotten caught by one of them.
Oh, that's... Oh, dear. Um, look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. I feel it. Is that the way I was supposed to progress? That's a not so fun way to progress. Okay. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they all. They happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Oh, is this like a selector screen? Um, like a name selector. This boy's name is now Steve. That's a good name. Steve. The boy's name is Steve? Yes, my name is Steve now. 100%. No, that's Omori. Huh. You have one new message. An old computer. Oh, it's on my phone. I see. Hey, Steve. It's Mommy. I'm still in the city, settle setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? Mo the movers are going to be at our house in a few days. So I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the, the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Oh, is this just like... It's still Omori, so I'm just going to call him Omor Omori because I like that better. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put out our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzz. You are hungry. Are you sure you want to go downstairs? I'm gonna assume that's where the kitchen would be. You don't want to look down. This is my room, if I'm right, yep. Okay. Where am I going? This is a bathroom. Mom's bed. The mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Steve. I'm so confused right now. Oh, 
Okay. Well, um... You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. Okay, so we just go to sleep. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Okay, I think it's telling me that... Oh, that window is red. An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Those stairs are too long. <laughs> and I cannot run down them. And those right there? No, I don't. I, I already said this. No sticky keys. Those are creepy ass hands though. I think I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I know. Can I... skills no okay I don't even got food in the pocket okay you are hungry I hear whispers that is a knife Shiny knife. Oh, okay. Yeah, it already auto-equipped that for me. That hand, I don't like that hand. That hand is telling me bad things. It has bad vibes coming from it. Um, I can just not. Please, please just stop. It's getting closer. It grabbed me. I don't like that at all. I am taking a drink of water. What will Steve do? Um, let's see. If I run, I can't. I gotta do something. No. Oh. I see, it's just gonna kill me, isn't it? Omori? I'm literally only gonna read it as Omori. I'm done. No more Steve. It's Omori. Look at that. That guy right there, that's Omori. That's what I see. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself. And remember how to calm down. Calm down. Steve calms down. Okay. Steve. <laughs> no, it's Omori. I, I swear, I know, it, it's Omori. I don't know why it changes its name. Those stairs were not as long as I thought they were. Okay, I'm gonna assume this right here. That is not the kitchen. It's gonna force me to leave the house, isn't it? Oh, no. There's just... Damn, this house is big as fuck. Okay, it's pointing to the knife. I want to explore this house just a tad. Okay, this appears to be the living room, the kitchen, where they want me to be. Um, that appears to go outside. This probably also goes outside, so it, I gotta go to the kitchen. I didn't like... Okay, what's happening with those boxes there? I don't even know. Well, let's look in the fridge. You look in the fridge. And find cold steak. Take it? Absolutely. You got cold steak. 
You should probably heat it up before you eat it. You put the cold steak in the microwave. You got microwaved steak. A microwave. Pocket import microwaved steak. Your favorite food. Why can't I? I, I? I'm hungry. I should probably be able to eat it. Oh, wait. Do I need the knife to eat it? I see. You pick up the steak knife. Ah, yes. A lovely, well done steak. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Okay, why did <laughs> Bro wait the extra mile to wrap up his silverware? This man probably took that napkin, wrapped up that silverware, got a nice bit of tape, wrapped it around, and then was like, huh. Oh, okay, now to undo all that. <laughs> <coughs> Oof. Your stomach didn't agree with that. Alright, who put a roofie in my steak? Who did it? It's probably Steve. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go to bed now. You feel sick. Where's the bathroom? Probably this one. No, that's my mom's room. Okay. Yeah, it was here. Mhm. Mm you know, this the layout of this house though. The way that the window is like right next to this door and it would definitely lead into this room, but okay. I'm not even going to I'm not going to question it. You threw up. <laughs> okay. Well, probably can go now oh dear someone is knocking at my door god damn I'm coming I'm coming Mari hey Omori it's Mari I'm finally back home but I forgot my keys could you open the door for me leave Oh, it just switched perspectives, I see. Open the door. That don't look like her. That was a jump scare. I didn't like that shit. Is that fireplace there before? There are nails stuck between the bricks. Yeah, that that scared the shit out of me. I did not like it. Okay, I heard something. Man, I don't like this game. I don't like it now. I I'm going to just say that. Yeah, let's go to sleep. That door is going to fucking open. That door is going to open. I don't... I, I love... This game really knows how to set a mood. It really does. Jump scare. No, okay. Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. All right. Yeah, now now I feel it is strangely good at setting like meow. <laughs> 
waiting for something to happen? A tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Huh. Is there anything new in here? No. Yeah, I did not like that whole sequence of events. Anything new in this? Oh dear. What? Press Q to open the hangman menu. Something fell nearby. Okay, I'm confused by what that is, but let's look for the thing that fell nearby. Stop going into the menu. I don't want to go in the menu. That seems longer than before. And why are you chasing me? Oh, they just want to, like, keep me there. Something fell, though, and I want to know what it is. All right. There. You found a map. Press W to open the headspace map. Yeah, and like now this is just there. Anything else here? That like I'm missing? No, tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Waiting for something to happen. Okay, yeah, no, nothing's gonna happen there. I guess I gotta leave now. White door. The a white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. All right. His hair's ruffled up. Huh. Amori, thank goodness you're here. Have you seen Basil? We can't find him anywhere. His hair's... Yeah, I think it's more ruffled up. We should go tell Mari you're okay. She's been worried sick. Yeah, this place is pretty much the same. S going out, Amori? Here's your allowance for today. You got 200 clams. Nice. Hey. Alright then, 11 keys left. Okay. Omori, you're okay. Don't worry me like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Omori? No. I'm afraid not. 
The last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. And next thing I know, I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Omori. But I hope Basil is okay. Who's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a down downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil for sure. And keep on forgetting the spunky voice. You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like these when we when we gotta say positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something that we missed. That's the spirit, hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me. Alright, let's see. Mari's picnic basket, would you like to save? Yes. It's still in the prologue. I'm like trying to... Yeah, it's still prologue. And like, I enjoy that it's happy again. Is this guy still like here? What, what's on this thing now? Wanted alive. Pluto. AKA the ninth planet of the solar system. No reward, sorry. Huh? Basil's missing again? It wasn't me this time, I promise. Now leave me alone to repent. Okay, he's just chilling there. I swear, if you try to play tag with me. Good. I ain't trying to play no tag. Um. Yeah, let's just get to Basil. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not the way. <sighs> what? Yeah, this game is, like, slowly getting very dark, and I'm, like, it, it, it's not getting dark yet. I mean, I did just stab myself a few minutes ago, so, yeah, there was kind of a jump scare. It, it, it get, it's getting pretty dark, but I, I don't think it's gotten to, like, the really dark stuff yet. Um, now... If I open this door, there's a chance that it might actually get dark. Yeah, no, there's no longer a chance it got dark. Or whatever that thing is. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without... Ah, uh, wait. Do you think Basil just left somewhere without telling us? I don't know. That doesn't sound like him. He's usually so considerate about these things. Guys, I'm really worried. Is there nothing we can do? What if we can't find him? What if he's in danger? Stay calm, Aubrey. I'm worried too. But that won't solve anything. Let's go look around the forest. Maybe he wandered off and got lost. Yeah, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll find Basil. <laughs> you guys are right. Uh, okay, we gotta keep our hopes up. Let's go look for Basil in the vast forest. Okay, there's no way of going up, so... Yeah, there, there was a weird monster there, though, and I feel like it's a metaphor for something. Because it appeared in my notebook. So... Yeah, I'm kind of... Okay, I'll have some fruit. Yes, we'll eat some. You and your friends feel like new. Hmm. 
I think it was kind of hinting that Basil's gonna be like the guinea pig that gets hurt a lot, I guess. Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting, is that it's gonna be the main drive of the story, is what's happening with Basil. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go up here. Oh, th those flowers just wilted. These flowers, they're already dying. We should do our best to take care of them until Basil gets back. Flower. Amori gained one heart. Are there, like, are there other plants that are dead, or is it just there? Yeah, no, I think it's just there. Except, no, those were drooping before. Yeah, no. Those were always droopy, okay. And if that's not how they're supposed to be, here, let me look at it, okay, yeah, no. That ain't how it's supposed to be. I think that was the only thing. And that's a metaphor, I think, and I think Basil's dead. Just a little hint. Uh, pinwheel forest, probably this way. What's up here? A transportation station. It doesn't seem to be in service. Alright. Let's go. Vast forest. I know. I bet my pet rock will know what to do. Hector, be a good boy. Go find Basil. <laughs> Hector. <laughs> <coughs> you tried your best, buddy. This is no time to fool around, Kel. Hey, why you... Hector was just trying to help. Let it go, you two. We need to help. We need to keep ourselves focused. Okay. Okay, so this is headspace. I see. So, basically, what I was in just a second ago, I'm going to assume, is the real world. Omori is a fake name that this guy is, like, taking on, I guess. So I have a real name, and then there's just Omori. I chose the real name, Steve. Alright. I, I think I'm I'm getting a gist of what that means. Oh dear. What will Omori and friends do? Stab. Stab the bunny. Yeah. Oh dear. A sad poem. Alright. Oh, man, 
and now she's angry. What will Omori and friends do? a pep talk. <laughs> it's that simple. I'm actually hoping that... Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Now you feel happy. Yay. but I feel like that has something to do with it. Uh, I'm gonna go the opposite way. Yeah. Uh, all right. Man, I gotta interact with it. Yeah, just all fight it. these bunnies and stuff. Oh wait, he's about to die. That guy's about to die. I might... Might want to be worried about that. Can't... You need to eat that. Um, you will also eat candy because you're also about to die. And the rest of these people are going to attack. Oh, oh, he just died. Um, pass to Aubrey. Alright. What's this way? Red. Now we're gonna give give him a pep talk. Um, you're sk you can no, you can actually you attack there. And then your skill is to cook her some food. Good. fight them now. Stop doing weird stuff. No. Attack that. Attack that thing. Don't do that. Attack that thing. Why do I always go for attack again? Because then I can't do anything else.
10 keys left. Okay. I think that's where I'm at, which means I'm going off into nothing. Or just like unknown stuff. I don't know, guys. I don't think Basil is in the fort. Che Man, cheer up, Aubrey. We'll n we'll keep searching until we find him. If we don't know, if we don't find Basil soon, maybe we should meet up with Mari at the playground and figure out what to do from there. I'm also not even like in the forest anymore. I might want to go back to that because <laughs> I think I am going off into other stuff. And there's this guy again. No, get away. Get away. I don't feel like interacting with you, please. Come on. Ah, uh, look, he killed him. Yep. Bye. There we go. That right there is a watermelon. You got dandelion. Nice. That right there was a dandelion. So I don't have to fight them as long as I just run away fast enough. Big bone. You got candy! Hold on, pocket, important... Oh wait, snacks, here. Candy. Excuse me. I'm gonna use that on him so he just isn't dead, I guess. Big bone. Small bone. This dog looks... Would you like to pet the dog? You pet the dog. You felt something in your hand. You got cherry soda. You know what? I just pet a dog, got an achievement, and got cherry soda. Okay. This, this was a very good gaming experience. I pet a dog. Let's go. Okay. What's... No. Come on. I did not want to have to deal with these guys again. Why does it always target him? Stop making hero useless. No, we just killed him immediately. Mori grew to level 4. Yay! Okay, let's see. There's a watermelon. You got apple juice. Hell yeah. Oh, those are more bloodstains. Did I follow the previous bloodstains on this path? Is that what this one was? The bloodstain path? That's what I'm calling those. They're not really confirmed as bloodstains, but... Oh no, that path was up here and I feel like it kind of leads to the same place yeah yeah this is the same place okay I see so I probably wanna explore anywhere where these are going 
probably that's what I'm thinking please just go elsewhere so that I don't have to deal with this I don't feel like doing all that oh yeah just slice them makes sense this is a pretty long ladder huh uh, it's pretty tall but not as tall as the one east of the stump that one goes all the way up to space you're really afraid of heights aren't you Amori it's okay we don't have to look up there that's literally directly where the directly bro, that's literally it's directly where the blood is leading or uh, yeah I keep on calling that blood it's not even confirmed as blood I think that's blood though it, it, it makes sense if I'm assuming this guy is dead which is pretty I think it's a fair assumption um, all right, I don't know, here, Maury's party was victorious, I am so victorious. Okay, so I guess this is the only direction I haven't gone in this forest. You got jacks. I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I've done enough exploring in that. Okay, I guess I gotta go. Come on. Let's go. What do you want? I wasn't the only one who saw that, right? Just a tr just a tire swing. Um, hey, you girl, girl, did you see that? Uh, now it's just the girl. Just kidding. Three people behind her. Two people behind her. Uh, that 100 in math is really paying off right now, you know. So. Fine, I'll fight him. I think it's, uh, I don't have to use that, right? No, he cried. Aww, it looks sadly at Kel. It's, it's gonna make him sad, isn't it? He's gonna like, it, his emotion's gonna turn sad. It, it didn't. Wow. Kel, you heartless bastard. You're gonna attack this guy, and you are gonna cook food. Yay! Alright. Now, everyone, let's kill the bunny. No, no, we're killing the bunny. Bye, bunny. Oh, why is it, it? It's attacking me mainly, and I don't like this. I'm gonna die. The soundtrack is so calming, and I feel like it's familiar, and I've heard it from somewhere. I think the only one I have, the only soundtrack thing that I, like I know the name of for this is Your Time. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's part of the soundtrack. Okay, hey. Hello everyone, how's it going? Have you found Basil yet? Hey Mari. No luck so far, I'm afraid. Or uh, maybe he was saying, no luck so far, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was a way I could help more. 
we're all doing our best. Maybe we should start looking outside this forest. I know! Why don't we try climbing that really long ladder? The one east of the stump. We can't do that! Omori is afraid of heights! But what if Basil is somewhere up there? We gotta take our chances! Eh. I know, but... Omori! You're growing stronger and stronger every day. You can handle climbing a ladder, can't you? Come on. Ah, come on, little brother. Face your fears. It's natural to be nervous at first, but you should know that we all believe in you. Come on, Omori. It's just one measly little ladder. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know about this. Do you think you're going to be okay, Omori? Okay, if you're okay with it, then I'm okay with it too. But if you get scared, you can always count on me to back you up. Thanks, Omori. You've got some real courage. Woohoo! I'm not doing it as high-pitched as I did the first time. Let's go, let's go, to the ladder east of the stump! We'll see you later, Mari! Bye now. Oh wait, bye now. Stay safe. Man, I suck at looking at what characters are talking. Remember, Omori, you're stronger than you think. Alright, let's go. East of the stump, so I'm guessing that means... This way? Oh, hey, there's a trail here too. Remember what Mari said, Amori. You're stronger than you think. Don't worry, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, and if you fall, we'll be right th here to catch you. Kel, don't scare him. You won't fall, Amori. I promise. Alright. I don't like those hands. You are no longer afraid of heights. Oh, okay then, we just walk up the ladder. Man, I know there's a reason why we've never climbed this ladder, but I can't put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh well, here goes nothing. Okay, so there's two... There's two ladders, and we are going up here. Hmm. Wait, hold up, guys. Shoot. Where is he? I just had him. Where is who? Hector, my pet rock. I swear I just had him in my pocket. No! Hector! He must have fallen out of my pocket when I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, Hector. I should have been more careful. What's the big deal? It's just a rock, right? Don't you dare say that. He's not just a rock. He's family. Dominic Toretto moment. Mm. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll turn up soon, Kel. Probably. I sure hope so. Wait for me, Hector. I'll find you. I promise. Okay. <laughs> the snake. Dang, 
cup song's been getting complex. Nice! Oh my god. Yeah, I really like the soundtrack. First! <sighs> the ladder. It just... Never ends. One sec. Just... Catching my breath. Actually, give me a minute. He's good. Cheap. Other world campsite. Cheap. Cattle. Cattail field. Okay. Yeah, cattle field and cattail field. Two different things. Um. What does this bird do? Shoot. I knew I left my donut somewhere around here. Okay. Well, guess I gotta go somewhere else. Let's take... Come on, you can go. Not around it. In. Other world. Alright. Nice. Nice. Gumbo. Happy. Dang. So many humans today. You guys are always such big fans of space travel. Oh, I see the joke. He said it was so long that it probably went to space. That, that's funny. A vending machine. Buy a tasty soda? <sighs> no thanks. Okay, let's see. Welcome to Otherworld, an unofficial pit stop for wary space travelers and a popular family-friendly campa camping ground. Ah. Don't... I, I, ah. <laughs> My reading is really good. Ah. Ah. Don't you just love the smell of firewood, and the sound of running water, and, this cri and the crisp space breeze? It all makes the vast emptiness of space a little more bearable, don't you think? Ah yes, some lovely space tube food. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yes. I don't even think it's in the prologue anymore. This is not. This is no longer a prologue. I'm doing all sorts of stuff now. Like what? Wait. If this is the prologue, what's the actual game gonna be? I'm like. All right. You know what? All right. Yeah, I'll have a picnic here. I want to just do a quick picnic time. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a space pirate. And I'm going to travel all around the universe. Our search for Basil has taken all of us pretty far from home. If traveling the universe is what you want, you definitely have a head start. I wonder what kind of friends we will meet. What foes we will face. It'll be an epic journey to end all journeys. You're way too carefree about this, Kel. Did you forget that we are looking for Basil? Remember? Our dear friend Basil who needs us? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to be positive. I have complete faith that we'll save him. Besides, 
the heroes always win. Isn't that right, hero? Heh <laughs> very funny, Kel. Alright then. Oh, I was I was holding the sprint button. I forgot that that even existed. Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Alright, s'mores. 50 hearts. 20 juice to all friends. That actually seems like absolutely useful in so many ways. I'll buy two. No, I don't want to buy another banana smooth. Um, deals damage to a foe and reduces their defense. Sparkler. Little fires. Inflicts happy on a friend or foe. Life jam. Infused with the spirit of life, revives a friend that is toast. Ooh. Then. May maybe useful. I'm just gonna buy two of these. Yeah. That seems good. Alright. Mirror, mirror on the wall. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Yeah, like this, this, just this makes me so happy. Look at all of us, so happy. Look at the three of them, so happy. Uh, okay. Man, let's see, where, where are we going next? Oh, is this my way of teleporting? That's it's gonna at some point become my way of teleporting because there's one of those in the other place too, which kind of tells me that that's gonna be my transportation system once I unlock some more places. Hi, dinosaur. Um, what are you gonna do? Uh, you have a manicure in your house. Oh, it's a centaur. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, manicures have wings and stuff. I'm small. The world's smallest senator. Centaur. Uh, look at all of my awards. Uh, I need to look at all of these. Littlest centaur. First place. Most horse. Second place. <laughs> Miniest Centaur, first place. Itty bit, ittiest bittiest Centaur, first place. Littlest Centaur, first place. Littlest Centaur, okay. Smallest Centaur, first place. All of these nice awards for being small. Huh. I'm small. <laughs> huh. Junior just doesn't know how to stay put. All he wants to do is go outside. Sorry to bother you, but have you seen my son anywhere? We looked away for less than a second, and he's gone and ran off again. Could you keep an eye out for me? You'll know when you see him. He looks just like me. <laughs> uh, they all sleep in the same bed. That's nice. Was he down here? Okay, no, he it isn't. Okay, what do you have to say to me? Oh crap! I forgot my camera at home. 
What's a good camping trip if I can't take any pictures? Hmm. This place used to be pristine wildlife reserve. But due to a recent boom in tourism, it's starting to, to accumulate a lot of trash. Pick up your trash, people. It's not that hard. I'm already disinterested. Fine, I guess I'll, I'll see what's in here. Alright. Oh, okay. Pressy. Hi, I'm Pressy. And as you probably noticed, I love Sweetheart. I got every piece of merchandise she's ever released. I got Sweetheart posters, figures, stickers, shirts, her entire, her entire discography, and anything else you can think of. I'm certain you won't find a more thorough collection anywhere else in the world. Calling me a super fan is an understatement. I'm the ultimate fan. Let me tell you about the time I almost met Sweetheart. We just happened to be eating at the same restaurant. It was fate, I think. We ordered the same meal, too. Not like I totally saw what she ordered and copied her or anything. I even tried to pay for her meal. But I had to... But I had just bought a newly released Sweetheart life-size statue the day earlier and couldn't afford to. Which I guess ended up being a good thing since that girl turned out to be some regular girl wearing a costume that kind of looked like Sweetheart's anyways. Not like I couldn't tell in the first place. Only a poster fan would ever make a regular person... Would mistake a regular person for Sweetheart. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I'm an obnoxious-looking person. <laughs> Bro. Uh, wow. Of an obnoxious-looking person. Alright, let's see. Um, what's in here? You got can. I love can. That recycling machine just gave me a cool prize. Recycling some cans. Recycling does pay off. Yes, I can. I I can recycle this can. I need to learn how to use my webcam because, like, I'm hitting a jig and like. Oh, oh God. Five clams. All right. There, you eat that guy's son. A band of space pirates has been camping out here for a long time now. I hear that the captain suddenly decided he wasn't going to travel anymore, so half of the crew took his ship and left. Halt, children. You are now entering the vicinity of obscenity. No. The captain of the space pirates. The master of the solar system, the prince of the universe, the one and only Captain Space. I mean, er. You are entering the house of Space Boyfriend. Whoa, the captain of the Space Pirates lives. Whoa, the. <laughs> what the fuck? Lives here? That's awesome! I wanna be a Space Pirate too! Yeah, well. So did I, once. Space Boyfriend doesn't do much these days, so most of the space pirates got, got fed up and left with the main ship. It's just us stragglers here, doing all of Space Boyfriend's chores and whatever. <coughs> Man. Ugh. Yesterday, me and the guy spent the day cleaning and throwing away all of his trash. Huh? Ooh, was that another guy? I didn't leave my old job for this. I ain't no babysitter. Aw, I'm sorry. That sounds awful. Maybe we can talk some sense into him. 
Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend's... Got two sides to him, you see. You should at least try. You never know. He might know something about how to find Basil. Or maybe he knows where to find my pet rock, Hector! Yeah, sh sure, that too. What are we waiting for? Let's go see him already. Sorry about your job, sir. Uh, bro, I'm tired. I'm, I'm like done doing the Aubrey voice. And by that I mean I'm still doing it. It'll get better soon, I promise. <sighs> Thank you, little lady. I sure hope so. Okay. Now to immediately go past him, because I want to see what this bird is doing. Squawk. Things have been so boring around here ever since I mean, Space Boyfriend took charge of the Space Pirates. I mean, look at what Space Boyfriend's done with the old captain's ship. I mean, oh wait. Captain Pinkbeard would never approve of this. Let's see, what are you gonna say? Uh, the view here is spectacular. Nice. Alright, let's see. Oh god. Space Pirate Buddy. Buddy, it sucks that you had to come at a time like this. Space Pirate Ace. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend... Hasn't haven't hasn't left his bed since she stopped coming around. Things are a little tough now, but I don't care what anyone says, pal. I believe in the captain. The space boyfriend, what can we do for you, bro? Why won't you leave your bed, bro? Stop moving around, space pirate mate. All I hear lately are the rest of the crew complaining about being bored. Am I the only one who kind of enjoys cleaning around here? <sighs> Alright, he's just sleeping. What's happening up here? Alright, let's see. Space boyfriend. I could do that one because I'm sick. Uh oh. Captain Space, I mean, Space Boyfriend, doesn't look so good. Don't worry, I'll handle this. Hey, Space Boyfriend! Wake up! Kel. What? sounds sad. There must be some way to help him. Cough, cough, cough. Oh, my sweetheart. Where have you run off to now? Oh no, not again. Space boyfriend's feeling the heavy blues. Here, my guy. This will cheer you right up. Why isn't anything playing? Oh no. Oh no, the boombox. It's empty. He's never gonna wake up now. Or even worse, he's gonna wake up angry. No oh man, oh man. Where could that special mixtape be? Someone must have thrown away his special mixtape when we were cleaning. What's the big deal? It's just a cassette, right? Well, you see, 
Whenever Space Boyfriend is away from Sweetheart, he gets really sad and lies in bed all day. The only way to snap him out of it is by playing a special mixtape. There's only one in the universe like it. Oh, I see. Space Boyfriend isn't sick. He loves sick. <sighs> Space Boyfriend stays like this. The once great co coalition. The once great coalition of space pirates will be lost for eternity. Oh. Man, that sucks. Well, let's go. Wait, where are you going? We should help him out. You should know that it really sucks to lose something important to you. Don't you dare bring Hector into this. I'm not talking about when you stole my stuffed... Oh, wait. I'm talking about when you stole my stuffed toy. Huh? I'll remember anything like that. Cough, cough. Oh, sweetheart, my perfect goddess. Cough. My sweet, jelly-filled donut. I think he's getting worse. What should we do, Omori? Should we help him out? <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks, my guys. I really appreciate it. Here, take this. You got Junkyard Key. This key unlocks the Junkyard. The special mixtape should be somewhere in there. You can get there through this secret entrance to Space Boyfriend's backyard. Pretty convenient, eh? Alright, let's see. What's what's in this junkyard? Oh, I see. His backyard's a junkyard. The earth looks peaceful. Would you like to disturb it? What? I can just fight the earth? Yeah, we'll just all f beat the shit out of the earth. Fighting the, the, we're just fighting the earth. We should probably just leave. Oh, okay, we can't now. <laughs> Dang. We are, we sure are giving it to that earth. I think she might actually need that. Man. No. Give her a s'more. Yeah. No. Um, no. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Why is everyone dying? I probably should not have bothered the earth. Well, I, I, I'm gonna also mention, I didn't think it meant I was gonna fucking fight the earth. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I thought I was gonna like, do a little joke and then I continue. Not, 
Okay, well, now we're gonna fight the earth. Make yourself some food so that you don't die. Can't run yet? Great. You give this guy a pep talk. You attack, you attack. Oh no. I'm just gonna do an all-out attack and hopefully... Okay, well he just got, like, critical hit. There, there was no avoiding that no matter what I did, but, um, let's see. Yeah, we aren't even, like, damaging this guy. And he's toast. And he can't cook. Oh dear. What? Um. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, I, I, I'm not even sure what I just did, but it appears that I got a game over. Yeah, I would love to try again. I didn't. That didn't mean I wanted to fight it again. I wanted to leave. I wanted to preferably leave and not have to deal with it. Give yourself a pep talk. Don't just okay. Yep, or uh, yep, just die. Just just do that. doesn't even okay I don't even think I can beat this guy. 
I'm like gonna sit here. Here, let's try to make the earth sad. I'm sure that's gonna work. How the fuck? What? <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. I I I just made an 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 inanimate object sad. Man, he just like one. Sh Can we heal him? I'm gonna see if that works and hope that it does. Oh, I see. So, oh dear. Yeah, we're just dead. We're dead. There's no killing him. There's no killing him. Honestly, if I beat this earth, that is what I'm going to use as my mark to end this off because... Give this guy a snack. Wait, did I just make... Did he just make himself angry, really? Nah. Man. How did you annoy yourself? Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Because I'm pretty sure that means his defense gets lowered. Which I would prefer. And now we're all sad. This is not... This is not what I wanted. Man. Huh? Wait, what? Rebound. Deals damage to all foes. Costs 15 of that. Well, seeing as there's one foe, I don't think that has a real use. <laughs> Yeah, he's done. He's done. He died. I die. Bye. Yeah, I did a lot better the first time. Really? This is... Yeah, this is not preferable. Um... Attack you, um, annoy him. And then you, I want you to guard because if you die, then we are screwed. Cook for, 
cook some food for him or just fucking die. Why? <laughs> I'm mad that it locks me into this battle. I don't want to be locked into the battle. Because that happens and then I can't do anything. And he dies. Uh, it, it's locking me in a battle with a thing that can just one shot this, like my entire party. This, this is not preferred. Make him not sad. Don't die. Oh what? Oh, I can. I actually, for some reason, didn't think Omori could be happy. Because his whole thing is that he isn't, I guess? I thought that was gonna be a genuine thing in the game. Oh. Man. Omori's about to die. Um, Omori, please don't do that. Yeah, and all of that only does stuff to... That, that's like my last ditch effort. The ultimate attack and Omori dies. Man. Yes, yes, uh, fourth time's a charm. Okay. Stab. Attack, attack. Or no. You, attack. Um, you, annoy, and then you attack. You do that, and you cook for the guy who's about to die. Or yep, yep, yep. That's just how it how it is. That's just always just fun, you know. When you get one shot in. Did I just like <laughs> kind of need to um? Keep that particular character very alive. Oh, he just dies. Okay. 
may not stab him. Everyone attack him and hope that he doesn't just critically hit one of us. Oh no, he just made him sad. And did we just all miss? I just love dying. last thing I wanted to happen. Attack again. Um, guard so that I don't die if it uses the special attack. It, it did, and I died anyways. Really? I was so close. I was like literally an inch. I'm not gonna give up. That one was like the closest try. It always goes for um, hero first though. find funny how close I'm getting to raging at, at, at a boss fight against the fucking earth it's the earth you know it, this is pretty fun oh, really we're gonna make everyone sad now happy. You. Make the earth mad. You. Well, no one's even injured. You're, you're probably- yep, you died. No, you didn't die. Good. You didn't die, so you can- Now make yourself, um, attack. Attack. Skill cook. Okay, why are we all dying? Stop doing this. Num num num. Snack. S'mores. Give that to him. Please. Before he dies. Yep, he just dies. He didn't. 
Doing bad things, Earth. I feel like I'm gonna get very close and then the Earth is going to kill me again. Oh dear. Aubrey does not have enough juice. Ah, she's sad and about to die. I'm gonna hope that it doesn't decide to attack her, or worse, attack someone else and kill them. Well, actually, either one has the same outcome. Someone's dead. Really? Really? It's gonna kill at least one of us with this next attack. I didn't... okay. You know what? Trip. I keep on making the earth fall. You stop using your ultimate attack! Actually making me mad. I... I have n absolutely nothing. So the earth is essentially about to kill me? No, never mind. Attack again. Oh my god, buy a nut hair. Buy a fucking nut hair. Oh my god, I I'm done. I'm done for the night. I'm done. I, I won. And learned bread slice. Goodbye world, defeat the earth. Okay, apparently that's just notoriously hard. According to the game creators at least. We've already done- we've really done it now, dude. I hope the captain won't be too mad when you tell him his favorite planet is missing. You know how he gets when he's angry. Buddy, you're not supposed to call him captain anymore. You have to call him space boyfriend, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Arr. Arr. You know, dude, sometimes I wonder if we're even space pirates anymore. Ever since that sweetheart came along, we haven't done anything cool. We should just quit and get real jobs. Don't talk nonsense, buddy. That is life for us, if not the... What is... What is this life for us, if not the space pirate life? I'm sure the captain will come to his senses one day, and we'll all fly again. We just have to believe in him. <sighs> Thanks, dude. You're always there when I need you. Okay, is there like a save point close? Come on. Really? Yeah, we're all... <laughs> run. Run, please. Let me just run and not do that. Because, you know... I just look man I forgot to just use my action on the junkyard she having a picnic in the junkyard please tell me she is wait is this on my map then no it's just it gives me a big announcement thing 
Um, there's somewhere I can go for a save point, please. Space Boyfriend's special mixtape. Sorry. Man, I'm like ready to g I'm ready to get off of this and go to sleep, but I can't find a save point. So, so this is the junkyard. Time to start digging. What are we looking for again? Space Boyfriend's special mixtape. Right out. Hey look, I found a can. You got a can. Sigh. I guess that's a start. You know what would be a really good start? Finding a save point so I can get off. Please. <laughs> Is that a special mixtape? Run, cause I am dead. <laughs> so that's one reason I need to find that um please save point somewhere anywhere you got a granola bar thank you for the granola bar You got a glass bottle. Okay. Oh man, looks like there's a big block of junk in the way. You might even call it a roadblock. Oh wait, that's a different guy. You might even call it a roadblock. Get it? Not to worry, everyone. This big old block is nothing compared to my swing. Hey, Omori. You know how you can cut roots and traffic cones? Well, you're not the only one with a special ability around here. I, for one, can smash large blocks out of the way. Kel and Hiro have their own special abilities, too. Although I'm not sure about Kel. <laughs> Just make me the leader by selecting tag in the player menu, or by holding A. I'll get rid of this hunk of junk. Easy peasy. Alright. You, you tagged Aubrey. I didn't know I could knock down the traffic cones. Give it back to him. Dang. Oh, it wants me to use that mechanic. Alright. Come on. You're you're the leader. What's in here? You got a can. Nice. I'm trying to avoid battle until I can get a save point, you know? Flower puzzle. Oh, okay. So, that's something I kind of need. I need to find another junkyard key. Hey, Mr. Conveyor Bot. Switch up those conveyor belts for us already. Mmph, rude person. You can't just yell orders at people, Kel. Jeez. Have some tact, will you? Now, now. There's no need to fuss. I'll handle this one. Tag me, Omori. Ahem. Greetings, sir. Greetings, sir conveyor bot. My companions and I require your assistance in changing the directions of your conveyors. Will you and your friends please help us? Uh, hmm, nice person. 
Okay. Yay. Conveyor belt. Comet Hammer. Lass's ghost looks around aimlessly as if it is lost. Can I just like... Hold on. Can I... No... Huh. Okay. Okay. So I think then I can yeah, I can do that. And get that key. Probably something in that toilet. And now that I'm curious, I'm going there and I gotta check it out. Cause of course. You got ramen. Okay. Now go the other way. junkyard key yeah, and also now I kind of like really want to go hit some traffic cones because I realized I wasn't like I wasn't looking in those zones and now I'm curious because there's like this stuff here there's nothing in there so I can't slice stuff like that. This guy vicious. Yes, very. All right. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Found rubber band. Found golden watch. Can you smash huge things? No. Okay. What's this guy do? Can he do anything? Absolutely not. Of course not. Okay, let's see. I would love to fight all those guys if this wasn't my current stat in um, 
life stuff. Snacks. Granola bar. Heals 60 heart, 80% of heart. Yeah, like, that will get two people. Actually, I might actually, if I... I could use the granola bars on myself and the ramen on him, then get in like a tiny fight with someone who isn't going to immediately kill me. Oh god, that's like a bunch of shit. Cook. Use on two. Oh. Happy that. Who did I just cook on? Oh, I, I, yeah, no, that's the last person I wanted you to do that to. And oh, everyone's speed fell. No, I didn't want you to guard. He's about to die. Yeah, he's actually about to die. Because... No... We're gonna kill someone. You... Please... No... Okay. Hold on. You. Snack. Snack. On to there. Then, yeah, uh, uh, you're gonna have that. You're gonna, you're gonna have it. Okay. Kill them. Or, yep, he's gonna die. The one who's supposed to. Man, really? Something ain't working quite well. Okay, well, guard, attack, Um, guard. Please, cook. Well, yeah, now, now at least we're not dead. <laughs> now we just gotta survive the battle. should kill him, yeah. Now I want to get in another battle to realive him, since he's the only one who didn't get revived by that. Not that you look like you're probably going to immediately kill me. Guard. Cook. Him. That really sounds like the dry bone sound from Mario. That's all I'm gonna say. Um. Here. Yes, thank you. Now we aren't dying. Well, now we aren't majorly dying. And you could still give him... Oh, this is amazing. And attack. 
Why is everyone dying? Please stop this. Stop this madness. Until I get to a checkpoint, this entire game is going to be healing people up while simultaneously attacking them. Now I just gotta kill this guy. Um. Yay. I don't even know what the uses for most of this stuff is. Okay, this battle... Oh dear. Sad poem, because I want this guy to... Oh, uh, what? Guard, and hope that you don't get attacked. Um, cook, and hope that you don't die before that happens. Yes. Now. Stab. What? And it just solos everyone? the strong guy and you can't do anything guard because if you die that is no good yay too good. Heal Omori? What? Alright. 
Now, please give me a save point. <laughs> I'm kind of like at a point where I, I tried to not die be dead. It's not working. I'm still dying. Let's see. Please tell me someone's having a picnic in here or something. That's just a mixtape. Oh, okay. Life jam. Oh wait, that's like really good. So he just, you know, doesn't die. Of course, she gets toasted. Okay, I just need to know what it does. Kinda. So... dies anyways, okay. <coughs> I can't stab him, so I'm just gonna make everyone attack the heck out of him. Anything that this vending machine can give me? What's the tasty soda do? Oh no. But with the with Hero, that kind of is pretty good. Because that there can then um yeah, what's, what's lemonade do? Juice, juice, juice. Heart. Soft cardboard, basically. Yeah, no. None of that's... It's not going to help anyone too much. Okay. Thank you. Finally. Oh my god. Please. Thank you. Alright, guys. Well, thank you for watching. It got extended by like almost an hour because I couldn't find a save point. <laughs> but finally, it is time to end off this episode, I guess. So we're gonna end it off with a picnic. Ah! This place is so gross and stinky. My nose can't take it anymore. What's the rush, Aubrey? There's so much treasure around. I'm gonna swipe as many cans as I can find. Oh, and then afterwards, we should recycle them at, the rec at a recycling machine. I'm sure we passed by one on the way to Captain's... I mean, Space Boyfriend's place. Forget cans. 
You gotta find that special mixtape and get out of here. Aw, hang in there, Aubrey. You'll get past this. If anything, just think about all the good recycling will do for the environment. Yeah, come on, Aubrey, do it for the environment. Alright, and now it is time to do something called... I'm tired. I'm very tired. Time to... Controls, how do I leave? Oh, here. Alright. Okay, well, like I said, that's it for tonight, so yeah, everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching, have a fantastic day, night, whenever the time is, and I will see you next time, goodbye.